So today I'm playing an ADLG game, 15 mil ancients um, war game. Um, this is the first part. Um, Steve from Reading War Games is very kindly hosting the game. Um, he's going to lead me through with the rules. We're playing 100 point games, which is half size a normal club night game. Let me enjoy. Hope you get something out of it. Okay. All right. So these are the two armies we've got. So the nearest me is the war band. Thracians. Thracians. <laughs> and on the left, what we've, we've got the two units of light infantry. Are these just... These are, these are diamond javelin. They're elite. Elite? elite. Yeah, they're, they're, the, they're the only elite troops in the Thracian army. <laughs> that, that's it. So we've got those. We've got nine to their right. We've got nine units of um, war band stroke warriors. They're called warriors. Medium swordsmen. Uh, to their immediate right, we've got the... Um, noble cavalry, and I assume that's the warlord on the far right, is it? No, no. Here, here's here's your brilliant general. That's what the single guy. On the, he's, um, he's been trained. He's been trained by uh, by the Romans, probably. Um, over here, this is the light horse. There's a light horse javelin man in that list. Okay, light horse javelin man. I'm just seeing him on the list. So he is six points. And on the far end, we've got the Romans. Um, yep. And they are the so the one nearest you is light infantry. Well, he's actually this is a light infantry bow figure, but he's a light infantry sling in that Slinger. list. Slinger. He he could have been bow. I just picked lit sling when I did. And then we've got five legionnaires: one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And then immediately to my or your what you're touching now is the uh, equities. That's not equities. Now that's what are they? Auxiliary. Auxiliaries. Uh, auxiliary for uh, medium swordsman impact and then to the oh, yeah, okay. right of those we've got two roman heavy cavalry oh yeah just looking on the list roman heavy cavalry nine points the most yeah not the, yeah not the most they're equally most expensive troops okay yeah oh i should think how much is a how much is a heavy infantry legionary with impact He's probably, they're probably the same, aren't they? They're nine as well, I think. Actually, no, they're, they're 11. Because they're 11. These, these, this, this, this is the, you know, just proper Roman stuff. The heavy infantry, cream of the army, your job as general, get them into combat. <laughs> 11 points of pop, you do, don't you? Preferably, preferably in a place where they're not disadvantaged, but, mm. but hey. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now, um, decide who's got what then. You're, you're, you're going to decide. You're going to choose which army you'd like. Would you like the larger pile of scrat or the high quality, small but perfectly formed? Mm. I'll, we'll stay where we are, just for the sake of simplicity. I'll stay with the um, pile of scrat, as you call them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that makes me the Romans then. So uh, the, uh, I'm just going to, well, the first thing we do, of course, is to. Uh, deploy, pick some terrain, and then we do some deployment. For which it's easier if I get the people out of the way. So I'm just going to put them on the side of the board. Um, and the first thing we do is we decide who has the initiative. So who's going to pick the the terrain uh, and who's going to set up as the defender and the attacker. And we do that by rolling a d6 and adding it to our initiative score. So on those two army lists, I gave you in the top right. Both got three though. Oh no, no, sorry. The uh, Romans have got two. Yeah. Operations got three, so they get plus one. It's, it's this bloke. The light horse is the di is the difference because you get an extra initiative for having a light horse in your army. Otherwise, they're both brilliant generals. It's the same. Oh, so um, here we go. Are you going to roll dice using the dice bot thing, or am I? I ain't got any dice, but I'll trust you. Just well, you, you 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 drive the dice bot in the uh, chat channel. You can't. <laughs> all right. It's easier this way because then I've got to start chopping around right. the chat channel. And, uh, so. All right, all right, all right. So here we go. So would you like to be blue dice or London Warlords dice? Mm, I'll, go you saw like, you... I'll go the white and brown. I, I, saw yeah. you, I saw when you changed them last week how well they did. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to say there's a certain prejudice amongst the troop, the guys that the warlords dice roll high. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm blue on that. I'm war dice. Okay. 
So uh, double six, uh, which means you win because you've got one initiative higher than me. So you, so the person who has initiative chooses what terrain to fight in and whether to attack or defend. You don't, that doesn't mean you have to actually, you know, that's just a posture that isn't actually the tactics you use on the board. It's just the posture. Okay, so uh, I'll help you here. Um, if, if you if you if you wish to attack, you have to attack and use my terrain. You have to use one of the terrains that I can have. Whereas if you defend, you can play at home. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you look in the army lists, uh, you'll find that the Romans have plain mountains and something else, woods maybe forest. Whereas Thracians only have forest and mountains, I think. Yeah. Um, no, no. In fact, the uh, the Romans have forest and mountains on the list. And well, that, maybe the list isn't filled in properly. <laughs> it's really, in the book. Oh, in the book. I'm just looking at the ones you printed off. So. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure when I looked this up earlier, when I did it, you'll find that uh, what list number is Thracians? It's sixty something, isn't it? Illyrian, Mystic Creek. It's a number in the top left. What, what number is the Thracian? 63. 53. So in the book, it's only oh yeah, standing there. That's why I can't find page it. You, so page you're looking at? 114. But I've got, I'm using a book. Uh, you've got the PDF, you've got you know. the which I don't think has the list in it. Anyway, so Thracians is mountain and forest. So if you stay at home, you can't choose plains. But why would you? If you come and see me in in uh, some part of the absolutely enormous Roman Empire. Well, I do have Thracians in here, as it happens on 114. So. Oh, you do? All right. So I'm, I'm 84. I have plain mountain and forest, like I told you. So if you invade me, you can say, Steve, I'm invading you in the plains. Or you can say, Steve, I'm invading you in the forest. Or you can say, I'm going to defend and then, but then you, you you would have to choose either mountains or forests. As given what I've told you about your troop types and the fact that we're all calling them war band and the Romans went down badly when they went into a forest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, quite well a well-known well game. <laughs> defending a forest, yeah, I think. So if you defend, uh, you get the, the pluses and minuses are the defender gets the last go at rearranging terrain. Um, but they have to put all their troops out before I put any of mine out in the in the small game. In the big game, you would do it alternate commands, but this is only, there's only one command in this small game. So effectively, you put all of your army out and then the attacker puts all of their army out, which obviously gives them an advantage, means you have to think of a cunning plan as a defender. So I was just, those are the pros and cons. It, it isn't it isn't as simple as defending is easier. Yeah, I should say because if I deploy everything, you're going to put everything on one side that I don't. Mm. Would I do that? Well, I would. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah. And then and that's why when you those games you watch, you quite often get like a turning movement because one person's concentrating on one way and yeah. Mm. Well, I kind of like the having of a train anyway. So I'm going to do that and defend. You are going to defend and you're going to choose what type of terrain? Forest. Forest. Okay. So in the rule book, uh, under setting up, it tells us that in forest, there's, it's on page 67, there is a compulsory, you're defending. So you get a compulsory wood. Would you like terrain? There's a sort of minimum size for terrain and a maximum size of terrain. Maximum. Would you? Would you like it to be big or small? So you'd like, there's a compulsory wood. I'll find some trees at some point. And yeah. then I'll, as and then I'll keep as knocking as them big, over. As big as possible. Um, that, I think, I believe that is. Um, so so the, the place you start with um, on page 67, defender takes a compulsory train and then chooses, and because the rules are written for the big game, up you can now choose up to two more terrain pieces. And the most, and that table above it, that's the maximum number of each type you can have. So you can have three woods, or you can have one river, or and only the defender can choose a village. Um, and I can only choose it if you haven't tried 
so uh, you know obviously you can only have is, one is a village good for me um it's difficult to rain is that good for me uh well it, it's better for you than it is for me but it's not it's not it's not altogether brilliant. It's, it, 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 it's, it's good for it's good for the you, it's good for the the light infantry are really good and difficult to ride. Yeah, well, I won't bother then. That looks bad though. Uh, but but you're but um, the, the the cutting edge of it is when you come to fighting. Um, well, firstly, heavy infantry like mine only go one in difficult, whereas your medium infantry go two when it comes to moving. And when you fight, um, if you fight in difficult terrain. Um, it's minus one in rough for heavy infantry, but no penalty for yours. And in difficult terrain, it's minus two for me and minus one for you. So you're one better in any type of terrain. But um, yeah, I think, so it doesn't really matter. So so you, a village is okay. Neither of us has got, another thing your village does is it blocks shooting, but you know, neither of us has got any sensible amount of shooting. So it's not important. The only thing it I mean, I'm only thinking other rules. When you have villages, generally people have to go round them, and what it does tend to do, it does tend to focus the attack. Yep. And sometimes you don't want that. You want them to be spread out, and you want space either side. Yep, that's true. Um, Although, as a defender, you might you're probably you, you might be able to get it where you want it to be. Right. Okay. I'll have a I'll have a village then. No All right. Giving you it, and I, I, if I could have another. Yeah, you actually have to get a village, you have to roll a D6. So there's a 50-50, so you choose it, and there's then a 50-50 chance you're going to get it. On, and if you don't get it, you get another choice. You got a six. You have a village. That's a, That one's a village, and I'll find a house. <laughs> okay. So I've got, a, I've got a... You've got compulsory words and a village, and you can choose one more. If you don't, for any, uh, if you don't choose two... You can have a go at moving the terrain. So for every one you don't choose, you have a, a chance to move the terrain. Well, if I was you, I would probably put down a hill. And moving hills doesn't give me any benefit at all. Yeah, it does. If you're on a hill. But, but I'm not going to put a hill down. I'll let you into the secret. Oh, OK. Well, I'll, I'll have a... I'll have a, a field then, please. You want a sec you, you're going to go for the second piece of terrain and not bother with moving things. No. All right, fair enough. I've only got quite a big hill, a big wood. There's, a, there's a, one of those. And I've got a very medieval-looking house for your village. Right. I suppose I've got, actually, I've got a yurt somewhere that might be more typical for you lot. <laughs> yeah, but put this civilised thing away and get out of here. <laughs> Particularly as we're defending at home. Yeah, here we go. There's a, here's a, here's a, there you are. There's your, there's your village. I assume... Got a radar dome. <laughs> I'm gonna. Since you didn't get a war, didn't try for a waterway, I'm going to try for a waterway. And I got it. Damn. And I'm going to put it. I'm going to go for the. the when you put this on, uh, um, I'm, it's gonna, I'm just going to put it as a river because I can put it further in. I believe. Placing a river. The river must be between one and two dy. wide, must be between six, two and six from the table edge. So because it's a river, I can put it up to six in. Let me just check that in the 100 point game is not different. To play and set up. A river must be one to two wide and this place, that's exactly the same. A coastal zone must be two UD wide. Right, so we don't want that. So we want we want a river and we want it between one and so we're gonna put it six in from an edge. And I choose and when we when we put it on, which we do after, I then will roll and we'll see how difficult it is. Right, so I've chosen only one. You've chosen can I you said you wanted you wanted a field, didn't you? You wanted a field. Can, there I, you go. can I not place them before you put your river on? It's not a river. Oh, it is a river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will do. Yes. Yeah. So there's an order. If you look further, I'm going to take them all off. Now we've now we've nominated them. Oh, okay. So then I was, trying, uh, I was going to try and block your river. Okay. You you can't effectively. So the third river. bullet down says the defender places a compulsory element, and you do that by rolling two dice. One of them tells you which side of the board the piece is going to go. Would you like to be odd or even? I'd like to be even. Okay. Um, the rules have some nonsense about 
swapping it over halfway through, but we won't bother with that. So for your compulsory wood, it's going to be my side and up to four means it has to touch an edge, at least to start with. So this is your piece of terrain. So you get to decide where it's going to go, but it's my side, my half, of it's going to go my half of the board and it's going to touch an edge. Okay, so put it on... Uh, and you so so by that you can make it touch the edge nearest me that far edge or my back edge right uh, and you and you don't have to have it it doesn't have to be square on you can put it diamond shaped diamond wherever you shape, want it. Well, diamond shape obviously it makes it bigger um, yeah and i'll have it nearest your hand on that right. edge uh, as near the middle as i can have it right so the table so this is six so seven and a half you could put it something like that I mean, you can put you can obviously put it like that. So there's more. It's more. This corner is nearer you because if I tilt it, that corner goes back. I'll put it as as you just did. Yeah, make it nice. Right. Perpendicular. Like, perpendicular. You want it like that? Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's your compulsory piece. So what we then do next is the the coastal zone is placed by the by the player player who's chosen it. That's me. So six UD in is that far. Sorry, man. You're gonna have to move. What's this? Water, water coming through. Here it comes, splosh. Well, that narrows it up, doesn't it? I should have, see, if I'd have chosen the water, I could have put it right across the... the yeah, yeah, but yeah, wait, 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 listen. It's not all, not all gloom yet. Ooh, a tree, I felled I fell the tree. There we go, let's put it back again. So uh, when we put it down, um, <laughs> river, river, river. Uh, bush, 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 train, uh, cover. Uh, here we go. On page 64, a river or coastal region, river difficulty. So I roll a d6. I think this is the time I want a high number. We've got a five. So it's so the river is difficult. You can cross it, but the river is difficult. Mm. I got out the wrong thing. That looks too wide. Difficult terrain. You, you can cross it, but it's quite wet and difficult to run, which slows you down, effectively. Is that too wide? It's just slightly wide, isn't it? We'll have to play the, there's a little bit. It's not quite as wide as that on the far side. That appears to be. Okay, no worries. It, it, said, it said I could only, a river must be between one and two UD wide. And that's two and a, two and a bit. Two and okay, so that's the river. So that's... And uh, then you now put, you, we now dice, so that was, we're now on, to, on back on deployment again. Um, defender places the village if there is one. That's you. So you place the, this is your village. Um, and the rules about that, I think you have to put it either touching the water or uh, on your back edge. Mm -hmm. Village. Village is considered difficult terrain and offers covers. All troops may be in ambush except an elephant. Okay, it's can very... I have it? Um... Where does it say? Placing a village. Here we go. Uh, the village must be placed in the flank sector. The village must touch a river or coastal zone, in, if any. Otherwise, a player chooses the left or right sector. So he then rolls to determine the position of the village relative to his base edge. Village must touch the right edge, otherwise the village must make these two small edges the table. Yeah, the village must touch the close. So I think you have to this is a coastal zone, so you're so the first clause applies. You have to I'm on page sixty eight, placing a village. Village must touch the river, other if any, otherwise you choose and you roll a dice. So you, you can place it, so you can put it anywhere along that either side of it, the river. Uh, uh, it's a river, isn't it? So yes. Did you not just say it has to be in a flank? Isn't that central? The river must. The village must. No, I read all that. That's a bit that if it if there's no river or coastal zone, then there's a whole bit about how you put the village on. But the, but we have got a river, so you can put it either there or there, anywhere up or down the line of this. So up to you. Can you put it against the river where it is now? Yeah. Uh, and slightly towards me. A bit more. A bit more. So at the moment, it's probably slightly back from because this is halfway. So that's slightly back. That's fine. 
I can measure it. It's six and a little bit from your back edge. Down okay. So you then also you have so there's one bit left, which is this field. Yeah. So we so I picked them up, didn't I? You were even, so you're even, and I'm odd. And I rolled the two dice, and the blue is for side. So it's it's your side, and it can go. It, six means it must be um, at least two UD from an edge. So the white so, dice was a six because I can't see the pixel. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that funny thing that looks like Sauron's eye is uh, is a six on, is a six on this dice. <laughs> I can I can see the pips, but I can't see the. Yeah, yeah, that's the South London Warlords 2014 uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. logo. Right, anyway, so you can put, so it must, it has to be more than two UD from a, an edge, all from all edges, and on in, in your half of the board. Does it have to be a certain distance away from other terrain, or can it bust nope. up against? It can. Uh, this is not a set of rules where you have to leave a gap between terrain pieces. Right, okay. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it, if you put it to my, immediately to, to, towards you a little bit where it is now. Right. No, no, towards you, you towards the side. Oh, towards me, here, yes. Uh, forward a little bit, sort of two centimetres. And maybe a centimetre in a little bit towards the, the building. All right, so it's, so it's now not quite lined up with that, look. And there's a three and a half UD gap between those two bits Perfect. at the at the moment That's it. all right so uh, going back to page 67 then um we placed all other terrain we put a road on we don't have the attacker tries to adjust so i'm the attacker and i'm the only one who's going to get a go at this so i roll a dice oh sorry start again i nominate which piece of terrain i'm going to attempt to move Uh, yes, that's a great question, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to go for the village. I got five. Player can move the, the element a maximum of six UD or rotate it, but not both, or remove the element if it is impassable, which it isn't. Six. Does it not have to stay in contact with the river as per no. The no. I'm desperate. That, that's the initial that's the initial deployment. Oh okay. Yeah. That's handy. <laughs> <Bloody Right>. <laughs> So that's so uh, you don't get any goes because you chose the extra terrain. And now we do deployment. So we start we start with we start with we start, we put camps on first, camps okay. and fortifications. So, uh, where would you uh, like your camp? I'd like it on the, my left in the corner. Your left, that's this, that's that towards, side. Towards you, that's my right, that's your left. Yeah, I think we do, um, and you, and I think, did we, last week we looked at the flank zones are three wide, is that right? You can't you can't put it within three of the edge. In the same way, you can't put heavy troops within three of the edge. Mm -hmm. In the short game, can't see it from a quick look, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Um. Okay, so mine's going over there. Where? Where you got it now? Where I've got it now, yeah. Okay, so now I have to deploy my entire army, don't I? Now you have to deploy your entire army. Now, the, there is a thing that a defender gets, which we could consign to the advanced rule bucket, but you might afterwards tell me that I cheated by not pointing it out ambush. to you. Ambush. No. Ambush markers. Do, 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 do. Here's an ambush marker. Yeah. Uh, you can put them in this normally when they're in a big game, you, there's like a U shape. But as we discussed last week, it doesn't work quite the same in this, does it? The only real point of the ambush marker, or I mean, personally, you could put troops in ambush if you want. Um, 
but the other real point of it is I have to treat it as though it has real troops, so it would stop stops you marching if you put it in the right place. It stops you marching. Yeah, yeah, because if you if 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 you if for instance my army, right? If I was if I was putting one on and I put I put it on over here somewhere like behind this wood. Um, Can you and I, well? and then, uh, then you put all and then I put all my army over here. You can't anybody who you try to sneak this way round me has to treat that as though it's real troops mm. until they find out that it's not. It's, it's that four four uh, units, isn't it? It's four four UD. The uh, yeah, you can't come within four four UD because you can do multiple moves, can't you? Yeah. Well, um, and likewise, it stops you as well, isn't it? Well, if I know whether it's got troops, it doesn't. My, my ambush doesn't affect me, and anyway, it will tend to be behind me. Can you ambush? Um, or is it just me? Just I'm desperately in the quick game trying to find the the modified ambush. There's no need for a battle plank. A defender can place a single ambush marker in his deployment zone. All right, so so you it has to be in your deployment zone, which is which is three UD up. So basically, I've the only place you can deploy, you can ambush, is behind. No, you can't. The field is you put it more than three from the back. Oh, actually, your deployment area is five. So the only thing you can put in in, in a field is light troops. Oh, okay. Um, and and you can deploy light troops up to five in. So you could put an ambush marker in that field, or you could put one over here in the in the village. I'll put, you, it, where it, I'll put it where it is now. All right. Um, if you you can't, then when you deploy your men, put men on top of it. And of course, it doesn't really work so well in this game because you will have to tell me whether there's people in it in a minute when we come to deploy figures. Whereas in a, oh, on a table on a tabletop game, you just keep them in your box. I, I said, don't worry about it. Um, take it off. All right. So having done all that, we'll take it off. Right. So now you deploy your entire. I'm not going to bother. I'm not the defender, so I'm not. I don't get a choice. So that answers that question. You now put your men out. Okay. Uh, can you? Bring out my nine warriors, please, mm -hmm. in a line. Is there any advantage to have them uh, deployed behind them or not? What, in two ranks? So you've got four ranks, effectively, or not? Uh, no. Um, if you, in fact, if you, if, if I, if you end up fighting with, with people like this, and these ones at the front die, they get, a, they get a wound. You, you. If you if you have reserves, you need them to have you need to have a gap. How big's the gap? You need a one UD gap, something like that. Um, the usual view about the little game is that there's almost not enough troops. You know, you might have a a, a man or something or a who can fill in. So but, the, but the, the warriors the, can't the warriors can't go in the field, as you just said. I, I you know, you, you you can go in the field. You can't ambush in the field. All right, then well, I'm going to have um, my two light infantry. Can you put them in the the building, please? They're going to go over here. Yeah, my elites. Five, five in. Five in, yeah. Uh, the, you you could poke out if you wanted, but if you so you'll be four and a bit in if you've got the front edge of the building. Okay. Assuming you want to go that way, but you might not. Um, I'll have three in the. Field, no, two in the field, the, the ones at the back. That's it. So you just touched. Mm -hmm. If you've got them in the, the field. Well, you, your deployment area is up to three in. Oh, it's that deep. So, oh, okay, so that's. So, you, you, so uh, irritatingly, irritatingly, you're just touching the field <laughs> rather than. There we go. You're but right. it doesn't matter. You, you'll, you'll move in in a minute. Yeah, that's fine. You, with three, you have a question about which side you want to stick out. Hmm. And you can't. Go within three of the edge. Only light troops can go within three of the edge. Okay. What about cavalry? Can they go within three of the edge or not? No, light horse can, but not cavalry. Okay. Um, 
the I'll have the one, two, three, four, five, six um, in the open where they are. Just dropping back a, a, a depth. Don't know where you put them to just slide them back. Do you want to go against the river or back up with your mates or? Or do you want to leave it at this slightly odd? <laughs> Keep me lines. I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll have them against the river, please. Uh, and my two nobles. And my two nobles I'll have uh, in that gap, but behind. Is that my lot? I think it is, isn't it? There's a light horse and a oh. boss. Okay, the light horse, put, he, he can't go in. The, it's only light infantry, you said, in the, the flanks, though, didn't you? Or can light no. Infantry? Oh, no, he's a light. He can go in the flanks. He could come out here somewhere or I'll put him there. go over there. No, where he is now. As, as okay. fast as he can. How far forward can he go? You go five. It's three for three for anything but light troops and then five for light troops. And then, you, then your next choice is do you want it to be right as far away as possible or ne as near as possible or as possible. hedge your bets in the middle? About there. That's it. All right. And himself. Mm -hmm. uh, can you put him on the the next unit behind the, the the next one the other way towards you that's it so the way the way command distance works in this is you get a command distance which i think for brilliant commanders is six um but then, for, but then if he's trying to give an order to light troops, you double it. So you can afford to be quite a long way away with light troops. Uh, I told you light is eight for brilliant commanders. So um, this is six. So, you, you know, everybody is easily in command on this little table. Yep. The only other question is, do I put my cavalry, the nobles, in two ranks in a column or do I leave them as they are? Is there any advantage of being in a column? Are they more manoeuvrable? Um, well, they fit through narrow gaps is the main advantage of, of mm. being in column. You, can you put them in a column, please? I can, yeah. Um, so, it, I mean, it, to some extent, it depends what what you're thinking of doing. Because um, if you want to, if you're thinking about you might move to either flank. Yeah. The, the Interestingly, it's, it's better to have them like how I had them originally, because they then turn with the on their front corner oh, okay. whereas if you have them in a column when you you don't you really think about wheeling you'll wheel like this so you'll you'll bump into these blokes assuming they're not leaping forward no. um, would you be interested in a, my comment on your deployment i can change hat for a minute military advisor feedback is good yep um so uh, I warned you at the beginning that you don't really want to let the Romans steam down the board and meet these people face to face in the open. Yeah. So you've, I'd be thinking about how, given given the way the terrain has turned out, um, you you either you're either not going to go in this bit at all, no. or or you're going to try and think of ways to pinch them. So if I come down here, that you can pinch me in the flanks. So I see you've got your light troops over here, um, but to give you the most time, you might, if you're going to try that game, maybe you might. I, maybe I need to be a little bit deeper. You either, you want to be further back, or maybe you want to take a couple of them. You know, you want to have a few more if you're going to try and come this way. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Okay. So if you could um, drop them back um, one base step more. Yeah. So it could be only start in two. Yeah. Or even start lined up with his cavalry. But anyway, yeah, his t his two. Yeah. Um, you can always come forward. That's it, it, it is. It's a lot easier to come forward than go backwards. I saw last week when the guy, <laughs> when Simon got caught on his back edge and he and he got squeezed. And I, but I'm conscious. I want to try not to do that. Yeah, but he. But yeah, but in a sense, the, his problem was he got squeezed last week with the people he was. He wanted to try and with his elite crunchy troops whereas what you've got here this this you could look at this as this is the bait 
<laughs> no, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Okay. That's that's it done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, well, the other thing I would say is, um, when I look at this as the Romans, because you've got a cavalry with this wood and no light infantry, it's clear to me you're not going to come down here. Yeah. Um, so the choice, the fact you, did, and, you and clearly you're going to try and come down here and skirmish across the river, and I've got to decide whether I'm going to just let the camp hang out or fight you. Um, I think that depends how the rest of it goes. So, so you know what you've done telegraphs it. So, but if you're happy with that, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah I am. Yeah, yeah. It's... Right. So, what we're going to do, first, the Romans. How far forward can you deploy? Same, but I'm going to get the first go. Uh, what have we got? The, the difficulty I had. So, so <coughs> you may have to. I, I'll find it easy to remember which figures are which, right? But um, <coughs> it okay. turned out Chris didn't give me as many bases of close order of legion <coughs> as I thought. I mean, they're not uh, yours then. The legionaries are Chris's. Ah. <coughs> you better not lose them. <laughs> uh, no, true, true indeed. So, what have we got here? Uh, <coughs> do I need him over here? Yeah, probably do. Probably. In fact, I might even go wider. Ooh. Okay. Uh, for a quick game, that'll do. Um, so you've got your you've got your legionaries one, two, three, four. There's five legionaries here. Five legionaries. You've got your aux um, auxilla, heavy cavalry here, heavy cavalry auxilla, and you've got your light infantry over here. Yeah, we should be. Um, oh, I can see. Uh, yeah, let's just Is check there. We, um, we're not cheating, so that's good. And he's he's over here. Um, does it matter where he goes? Oh, actually, I took you off when we shuffled you around. You wanted to be up there. I oh, know you would have came back here, didn't you? That's it. Well, we'll we'll eyeball you across the battlefield. You, I'll see you in a minute. Um, right. Uh, let me just check. I haven't deployed too far in. When all the shuffling across the board. So there we go. I can put. I could put this one five in, but then he wouldn't be in a group. You move in a group at the sl the speed of the slowest, don't you? Yes. 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 I that today. Yeah. So so we won't bother to go further forward because that just means that. Because I'm going to get the first go, and I'll be a bit surprised if I don't go up here. Um, right. So, uh, virtual handshake. Uh, hope... <laughs> Good luck. May your, may your dice be terrible. Um, me. So I'm. Uh, I'm on. So we each time for each general, you roll a pip dice, and we roll lots. We got six. So the, the this is war dice. So the wyvern is a six. Um, and we add our generalness, which is two, uh, and then we divide by two round and round up. I, oh, you, I you, was looking for you, that in the rules. I get that completely, so you get four dice. You could have made it simpler, I would have thought, but there you are. Uh, I usually use one of those ones to, to remind me that you get four. Those are the optional. You always get one for the general, and then you get the, the number you just calculated. Okay, that explains everything. That was one of my questions. So... Uh, here we go. Uh, I did telegraph that we would leap forward over here. Here we come. Uh, we're about outnumbered. There looks like there's three of you and only two of us. That's not very fair, is it? I'm sure you're very good. We'll give you our best shot. Did I? Oh, I told you he's a slinger, isn't he? You did. And this is a wood. That's irritating. No, I've done right then. Can't be helped, can it? So what I usually do is, so I've spent one dice, yeah, put it behind the figures. So here we come. There's no, there's no point in being a Roman and not legging it down the board. So I'll assume that that's more than four from there, which it is just about, because you can't make a second move that would bring you within four. Our cavalry are exactly the same, aren't uh, they? 
they are yes so here come the legionaries that's myself and one other pip so that leaves two so these boys are going to come up and protect us from any any awkwardness on your part and that leaves one so the only thing i can do with one is well i can't actually i can move them two millimeters forward that seems rather pointless <clears throat> for a second second move yes so well, I, I can make a second so so well the 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 point of doing this is next go i might not roll quite so well <laughs> so so move while you've got the chance I can't I can't move that end because of your flat. I mean I could leave him behind and it should be four across there. Looks like it is. Um so we could basically move up to when we're within four of these people. So that must be more than four from those people and four from him. And you're four from the wall band in the just behind the terrain. Yeah, that was the one I was measuring from. Oh, okay, sorry. Looks like okay, we've just about right. got it right. There we yeah. go. <clears throat> So that's the last that's the last dice. Now we've got easy troops. Last week we had unmaneuverable troops who if they don't if they they can't make a short move or if they or if they make a short move it costs twice as much, you know, they they're keen. They either stand still or they run, they go. So but the, no nobody's got unmaneuverable troops tonight. Good. Okay, so that was that was the Romans. There's no so the game sequence is move, shoot, fight out and then out comes and there's no shooting or fighting so it's over to you it's your go if you could roll my white dice for me please you're still happy for me to roll the dice so here we go white dice five so five. same thing five and two is seven uh three and a half do I round you up round, or round down you round up so i get four plus one okay so you, you get so five and six is the same die roll so there we go effectively Right, okay, so I'm going to move I'm going to move one more time. Are you allowed to pre-measure in these rules? It, you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, we, when last, sometimes we've been doing it, if the two players are remote, um, we've been doing it so that there's no pre-measuring. Um, but just to make it more, more like a strategic general, but. Um, it, well, if you play me, I can see the board much more clearly than you can. So it's only fair you can ask all sorts of questions like how far apart are these troops? And... <clears throat> okay, so I assume light cavalry can evade. You can. Uh, so tactically, the thing you don't you don't want to do is evade off the board. Because if you evade off the board, you don't come back and you and you count as... So we did, did we discuss winning and losing? <laughs> I think I think it was uh, half the units in the army or something, wasn't it? Or... Yeah. Well, so your your army's got fourteen units in it. Yeah. So I need to kill or or wound to a value of fourteen, where a dead a dead unit is two and a wounded unit is one, or a unit that's evaded off the board is one. So it's it's like so if I, if you evade off the board, you a don't come back and b you count as as a as a as a one unit. Uh, you count towards breaking the army. So, um, and and you will evade uh, five, which is as you know is your deployment in, <laughs> um, plus or minus. So you then add a random factor to it. Oh, so add I make quite a long track. way then, don't I? You do. Yes, yes. But that's also your move. That's so you could also move five. So that's your mm -hmm. you could you could move across here if you wanted. Would I want to? Sounds a bit rash. Not not if you. Well, uh, you know what's what's the use for light troops? One of the things that one of the criticisms of this game is that the loss of light troops is the same as the loss of line troops. Well, I was about to say that. Yeah. Um, there is a there is an optional rule that changes that, but that's not that's basically people don't play that. Um, but it means it means that you don't, you know, the tactic of throwing in your light troops and getting them killed is perhaps not. <laughs> right. But but to, to disrupt the enemy is probably not what you really want to do. <laughs> okay, can you put a dice beside the light cavalry? Yep. Here we go. Um, a dice behind 
with the the guys behind the wood. The, the, that's it. It's a field, but yeah. Field, yeah. Um, and I've got three more, haven't I? Yep. I don't know if I need them. Um, one with the light infantry. In yeah, the I was going to say, be a bit surprised if there's not one over there. So I've got two left. I don't want to move them. Um, I think. If I lose a, cav a cavalry base, the second one does it take a fatigue for being broken friends in front of you as well? Yeah, just, just like uh, you don't you don't want to fight like that. It has no advantages and uh, only disadvantages. Uh, only movement advantages. Do, do they yeah. run down? Um, do they run down auxilla? No. <laughs> well, uh, they don't. Not in the sense of they automatically. Kill they're not not necessarily automatically killing them, but in the sense of if you got them into the auxilia, the factors are quite good for you. That's what I meant. But uh, in the same way, the you know heavy cavalry against medium swordsmen or medium, it's all quite good. Mm. It's a long way away, though, isn't it? Uh, I'll put one dice on those. On the yeah, but yeah, but, but in a sense, you know, uh, you 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 need to break me up, right? You, you don't you, you if you don't if you if you just let me do what I want to do, mm. <laughs> you've lost the initiative. So, you know, my advice is do something. Right. Okay. So put a dice on the the nobles, please. Yep. And I've got one more. Which has to be for you. Oh, okay. Um, but which can either, but you can, you can move off, you can go somewhere else. Uh, indeed, actually, I probably should have pointed out to you that unless you thought you were going to move the bait, <laughs> mm. then, then you might not want to be with them. Yeah, maybe you don't want to be with them. When they fight and he's involved, does he get a, a bonus? Well, that's always a difficult choice. If you choose to fight in the front rank, effectively, <laughs> Then uh, a if you if you lose that combat, there's a one in six chance you'll die, and b in the in the in the in the movement part of the next go, because once you start fighting, you can't leave until the fight's over. Um, so uh, and every command you want to issue is twice as difficult if you're busy fighting at the same time as giving out commands. Right. Okay, leave them as they are. So my first move is going to be my light cavalry. Yeah, and they're going to move towards the auxilla. Can you first of all, could you put a marker down where the cavalry are, your cavalry, just so I can see how far they can move forward if they move forward? My cavalry. Yeah. How far so my ca my cavalry, my cavalry go four. They'll be next to your people in the field. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> right, the auxilla. But they they won't be because I don't. The last thing a man on a horse wants is to fight a bloke in a field. I know that's like. No, I like to try to work where he's going to end up. So the. The light cavalry are going to move through the gap. Yeah. So you can't. It, you it, remember we've got this zone of control thing. So you you can't if you if you cross a one UD block in front of me, that's my zone of control. You have to line up with me. No. Okay. So if you put that. So, so, so you would have to go. That's why I put that marker there. You have, you would have to go across there, that way. Yeah, that will do. So. Uh, May I, if you do that, you'll be dead in one ghost time. Oh, because you'll charge me when I evade. Um, there's a very sneaky tactic. Oh, <laughs> so early in the game. <laughs> well, you, you will evade as long as I'm not stood behind you. Oh, I see. You're going to fling something behind me and there's buttocks of death thing. Is it like DBM? It, 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 it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, if you go across there and you bring these boys up here through, you know, it's all about what's your plan, right? Mm. If you bring these boys up here, you can stop me from walking behind you with your zone of control. So, yeah. but, so if you run your finger along that stick from the bottom, yeah, yeah, finger on the stick, yeah, long move, move forward, yeah, stop there, about there. You want to go about there, like that? Yeah, that's it. Block the gap. Um, Second thing, so the dice comes off, does it, or do you leave it on the, the unit? Well, I'll just leave it to show you've moved it. You, you should ask me how far three is from this guy and whether he is behind your flank, and he's not, right? Because okay. that's important. I can't charge your, I can only charge your flank if I start behind your flank. Okay, 
in that case, I've done quite well there. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And 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 the and the ask me where three is is because you don't want me to move behind you, because I can go three, right? So I, you may or may not be able to see that that is quite not quite enough to go behind you, because if I could put him behind you and him in your front, you don't really want that. Right. Yeah. So that's you've done that one. Um, with the uh, the guys behind the hill, behind the the, um, the field. field. Um, can they advance, please? And you say they, uh, how fast do they move in, in there? Three. You're not penalised for that. You could actually pop out the front if you wanted. I wouldn't advise it. No, no. I'll, I'll go back two thirds of the way up. Um, with and and I'll, I'll explain to you. Did Were you here at the game where we talked about not having your edge sticking out the, yeah. Yeah, of so. the side of the terrain because you can get effectively sucked out of the terrain in a combat? You wouldn't, no, not since this field is indeed all to your advantage. <laughs> this is the bit you want to, this is the bit you want to win, <laughs> or you want to win it all, but that's that's your advantage, okay? The cavalry. Mm -hmm. Can you turn them to nearest towards you and head towards that corner? So if you put the, okay. side of the stick down. Oh, I'm using it. There we go. So, uh, if so, you What's have two choices. You can do what you said, which is, t which is, turn ninety. Mm -hmm. You'll leave. Ignore the fact that he falls off the board, and that's and that takes that's effectively one UD of move. Yeah. For that troop type, and then you move three from there, so you you end up there. Or or we could you could effectively wheel. So you could you could wheel uh, up up to ninety, and however far that is, and I'll measure it, and then you go forward. You, you probably end up if you you'll end up further towards me, but not quite as far if you wheel than if you turn. And you know I'm only stressing this for you because this you know this is kind of game mechanic stuff, right? So if you went if you go wheeling, that's four to there. See what I mean? You'll end up there. Whereas if you turn 90, yeah. you go three, you end up sort of here. So slightly, either slightly further back or slightly near. That Which do you, do you have a preference? The second one. Second option, turn. So throw. turn, ignore the fact that he falls off the board for a minute. Because you, you, you hold the front you hold the front corner and then you go three. Yeah. Not quite. A, I deliberately went through that so that if your, because if your tactic was to come around here, I'd have taken the first option. If it's a bit of a bluff and in a minute you're going to go back again, do this one. <laughs> leave, leave where it is. Cause, yeah. Oh, you don't? What about him? Nothing. You don't, you, so back to the, you could leave him there or you can move him with his own pip. Uh, no, leave him where he is. All right. Yeah. Okay. And over here, let me guess. Advance. Yeah. No. We didn't do it anywhere, but you remember when you come forward, you can slide one to the side. Incline. Yeah, effectively incline. Yeah. Um, and it says here unit characteristics, uh, movement, line of the tree. They're free in the open. Or well, free in everything. They're free everywhere. That's why they don't worry about the fact this is difficult to rain. Mm. If, if you'd have had my legionaries in it, they might just about have got to here. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, that's no, fine. That's good. I'm happy with that. In you come, into my trap. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the, 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 you, you you know what? Be you must have been a Roman. You know that it's best not to think about, it, not to overthink the game. The boys are hard. They'll they'll take it. <laughs> right. We hope. So, dice uh, so, there's, so there's no shooting because nobody's. What's the range? We'll, we'll, we'll... No so you're, this is a javelin armed light horse, isn't it? Your man's a javelin armed, so he shoots one. Oh, is that all? Yeah, my, this is a lot sling armed, and he shoots two, so you're out of range. None of this lot shoot. This is a javelin armed light infantry, so he shoots one, and that's that's the sum total of the people who shoot. This is not going to be a shooty game. No. Um. So that's it. So there's no shooting or fighting. It's my go. 
So the Romans are still, we're still keen. She rolled a five. So Lots. Five. It is a five. Lots of pips. So five plus two is seven. So you get four plus one. Uh, we're going to stay keep our light infantrymen in the in the in the wood and we're going to just see whether we're going to see whether that's close enough to zock you and unfortunately you must have done this you must have had an expert measure this for you bloody hell <laughs> just, excellent just out of zock. Uh, no no sorry apologies uh, just in just in Zucker. just in mm. I, i'm on I'm, I'm on the edge there we go i could if i can zock you i will and light infantry, there's light infantry only exert a zoc out of diff, out of um, terrain. terrain or on other lights. Oh, uh, so it doesn't really matter in this case. So we only need one for him because he's only going to zoc is zone of control. Zone of control. He can. Then we can only go two because there's all sorts of people stopping us marching. That's good news. Dress the lines. God, God, keep keep neat. Right, so that's me. I've never had a fortified camp before. I hope it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're, I think you're fine. I think we'll find out in a minute. Um, yeah, I think we do. So this person, so there's five of them. Uh, you can't mix groups of cavalry and horse. Came up to there. So we're going to spend a pit. That's one. Do we want to be a bit bigger and bolder? Since your cavalry's ridden off. Mm. We don't need to be bigger and bolder. All right, we've got two left. Uh, I've moved everybody. I can move. It's all right. Nothing I can do with them. So that was it. Oh, did I think about shooting? Oh, I suppose I, by default I did, didn't I? Uh, right, so uh, it's shooting. The only person I'm not, and you do it, is the phasing player. So I shoot first, and then we do yours. So I've got a man in a in a wood shooting at a bloke on a horse. Okay, so I'm just looking at the factors. Mm -hmm. It says here. And your man's going to shoot back, although he's going to shoot this infantryman here. Because he's because he's zocked, is that why? Well, because you shoot the person most to your front. Oh, okay. So well, so we can have a sophisticated discussion about whether who's whether he's actually. He's, I think it's nearer anyway. Anyway, yeah, okay. So um, so, so light infantry shooting is at a minus one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So basically, I'm going to need to win this by about three to make any difference right so the usual thing to do with this is just to roll the dice and uh, and we see how what they look like now uh, one by four so that's a bit awkward isn't it what, what was my dice sorry i can't yours see. is a two. Oh, you can't see all right uh, i can put it there does that help that's perfect is it okay so that's a six two oh, bizarre. bizarre but true um it might still not be enough because of the wood so let's have a quick look at it so i'm a i'm a light infantry shooting is minus one. Should go down one. I think that there's a modifier. Where's the shooting protection modifier? Shooting resolution. Protection modifiers. Target in cover or by voice. Shooters disorder. Shooting from cover or in difficult terrain, except if light infantry. You nice one. So there's no minus for shooting from a wood if you're a light infantry. Um, I don't get a plus for shooting a horse. So actually, I go down to five for the fact I'm a light, you and your and your protection one. one so on the, on the on this side of the quick reference sheet, oh, okay. in this this column where it says PR, that's your protection. My armor value, for want of a better word. Your armor value, for want of a better word. Yeah. So light cavalry protection one. Right. Um, and then the next one is co number of cohesions, which is the number of wounds before you're dead. All right, so I, I actually normally you normally when you shoot like horse you need to win by three. So there we go. 
So, because uh, your protection would take you up to four. I've done that once, haven't I? Okay, anyway, you get the idea. Yep. So that's my shooting. Um, let me just check. No, nobody else shoots. So you're shooting. They're out of range. Um, and that brings us to him. Um, and I think he would shoot this one. Okay. Um, it doesn't make any difference because they're both protection one. So we're exactly the same procedure. This time you won by two. That's good. Five, three. So I think, I think it's good, but it's not good enough, is my suspicion. So the same factors work. So you go down by one for being light shooting. Mm -hmm. The fact you've got a wound doesn't matter till next go. Because they're, they're simultaneous. Because it's simultaneous. So you go down by one for being a light shooting, and I add one for being a, for having a protection of one, and then it's a draw. Oh. A Medium point. swordsman, protection one. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's that. Uh, well, we'll stop now. I'm winning. Oh, no. Um, now it's your go. So, so remembering, of course, that I have to get 14 yeah. uh, to kill you, whereas you only have to get 11, which is 10 for the bases and one for the camp mm. to, break, to break me. Another penalty of being a smaller army. So it's your, your die roll. So I'm rolling the white dice for you. Uh, and you've got a five. God. Five. No shortage of bit dice. Is four, so four plus one. Yeah, well, it's five plus two is seven, rounded up. So there you go. Same answer. It's just that it's only two for a billion general. Okay. My initiative is three, though, isn't it? Uh, that's your initiative for the deployment part of the game. That's not your command value. Oh, uh, I see. So... Uh... It is one of the things that it took me a long time to work out that a two commander is sometimes has initiative three. Uh, anyway, uh, for for pip dice, for uh, we and we call it pips because that's what you call it in DBMM. It's command points in this really. So for command, you add the value uh, for a brilliant general. It's plus two. Anyway, right answer. You got four plus one. Right. What would you like to do? Well, one dice on the light infantry, obviously. Yep. It's got to be done, isn't it? They're, they're going, well, you might want to think about that. There's no point in taking two light infantry to hunt one camp. And I haven't, I, I don't, killing a fortified camp is quite hard. Have you looked at what it takes to kill a fortified yeah, camp? I, with wasn't, a, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to say, if you, because the other answer is to split them and come in behind me and all that kind of stuff. One dice on the light cavalry. Yeah. You've got you've got two you've got a couple of choices here because you you can't r attempt to rally it to repair this was if you move it it's one or the other so you move or rally yeah that's I mean cool. frankly you should move it I'm going to move it um, I'm going to put two dice on the the unit in the in the in the field um, obviously I'm going to split them right and one on the cavalry can't do that well, you're not are you I'll do you a favour and let you do what I suggested last time so if that bloke goes to there yeah. you can now tell them what to do and when you leave them you leave the bait <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll do that That's, thank you for that right um, okay, so first things first, the light infantry, I want them to turn into the, to the river mm -hmm. and I want to start peppering. If I shoot them from behind, do they... Uh... Makes no difference. Oh, well, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna... I am, after all, um, elite. I need to use their capability. So I'm going to turn you... and try and start shooting at the uh, legionary. So, wanna... well, so you, you, you shoot one. So you, and I don't I have I have never attempted to shoot from a river. I have no idea whether there's a rule that says you have to be. Oh, you, you're going to attempt to come out out behind me. Is that what you're going to yeah, do? Exactly. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So right. So you're going to turn them into a column. Yep. Sounds a plan. Does that take one? Does it? Uh, it, it does, but lights get a free turn. 
So it's it... oh, still moving free, and I'm going to move free forward. Um, okay. If you if you do, you'll pop out immediately behind me. That's one I want to be able to shoot you as well. Um, so we you you want you want to you want to you we might have a corner, so you'd have to sort of pop out and wheel. That'll do. Uh, uh, presumably that one. Presumably you're going to follow on, are you? Yeah, exactly. Uh, right. So there you go. That's one. Um, the light cavalry are going to retire. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm because sure. you're because you're in a zog. Mm, I was going to ask you. Oh, this. we should have talked about this, shouldn't we? Um, Can I go back directly backwards, directly to my rear? Uh, this way. Yes. Yeah, that's what I want to do. But you may have to go a. Where's the exiting a Zoc rule? Shooting, disengage. It's not the same as disengage. Uh, exceptions to Zoc. Exiting a Zoc. Page 34. You cannot voluntarily leave a Zoc. A unit capable of evading must make a half turn to the enemies. Or what if. The, you know, and then advances its remaining move distances. That changes right. So basically.